We started this service for Women's Advanced Breast Cancer uh, nearly 15 years ago when we realised there were very few services for women with this illness. There were numbers for women with primary cancer, but very few that were focused specifically for the needs of women with secondary breast cancer, which is a terminal illness. Well, it was an absolute revelation because there is nothing around for women with secondary breast cancer. And I had a feeling of being kicked to the curb. Once you have a diagnosis of secondary breast cancer, implicit in that is that you will die from this illness. Coming here every Tuesday as a breath of fresh air and being with women that know ultimately what the end result is. The camaraderie that is shared amongst us and transforms us to speak the same language, it means a great deal to us. The first cancer, um, it's a lot more um, light and fluffy and you've got the pink movement attached to it and some things like that. But the secondary cancer can be um, a little bit more dark because it, it can actually, or it will actually be, end your life. We can talk about our darkest thoughts, of which a lot of us have many. We can laugh, we can talk, but we can talk about death and we can talk about funerals. There's nowhere else that you can do that. It's a very important service. And when you think about how much $150,000 buys in terms of the whole state budget, it is a drop in the ocean. We were told by the health minister when we met with him that this was exactly the kind of service that Queensland Health should be funding. Since then, we've been told that the program we have been funded under has been cut. Our current funding runs to the end of June this year. And if we provide a transition plan that's acceptable to the government, we have the prospect of further funding to December 2015. After that, we have no further funding. To take that away from women who are facing certain death, um, I think is cruel beyond belief. It is incomprehensible to me that the government is not only not funding this service, but actually isn't supporting us as a creative Queensland-based model that is regarded highly by services in the rest of Australia. I don't understand it. To put this onto um, corporate, it, that's not it. We're not fundraisers, we're not marketers. We are experienced clinicians, mental health clinicians, and if we have to divert our energies away from providing services to fundraising, then our clients will suffer. I think I probably have a meltdown, to be quite honest, because, um, you know, it's, it, it is a very difficult and traumatic thing to face. Please sign the petition. Please sign the petition. Please sign our petition. Please sign our petition. Please sign the petition. Please sign the petition and let Lawrence Springborg know that this is a disastrous decision. It will mean a lot to all us women and the women that are to follow on behind us. <laughs>